By early morning, shocked students stood by in disbelief as flames still clung to charred window panes. With icicles clinging to their uniforms, firefighters did what they could to douse the stubborn flames. Officials think they may be able to salvage the east wing of Jefferson Hall, although there is heavy smoke and water damage, but the west wing is a total loss. Nobody's quit. You know, as you can see, we still got some of the buildings standing, and uh, we got a shot at saving part of it, and that's what we have. You know, it's, uh, there is no quit in anybody here. Fire Chief Bailey's team was the first to arrive at the blazing dormitory, and he soon found out that all that smoke was hiding some fierce flames, and it was the smoke that fooled students into thinking they'd be back in their dorm before the night was over. It was only smoke, so that's why we didn't think it was that major. But... We were lucky. The, uh, after the alarm went off, uh, a student called the campus police and assured them it was a real uh, fire, and then our staff went door to door and uh, awoke people and got them out. The fire department did the same when they arrived. Officials are still trying to determine what sparked the blaze, but they've ruled out arson. And no one's even taking a guess yet at the value of the 61-year-old building and its contents. But Fire Chief Bailey says all that can wait. I just hope and pray and with anything that, uh, that I can do that, that there is nobody else in the building. The fire chief's prayers were answered by mid-morning when officials accounted for all 184 students, all safe, sound, but dazed. Most of the newly homeless wound up here at a crisis headquarters in the student center, a hastily organized but efficient clearinghouse for students who will have vivid memories of their first year at William & Mary. Terry Zahn has more on a college and a community that came together to help.